So like, I'm laying in my bed, I'm watching TV because I'm here by myself for a few days, all my friends are still doing their thing and I'm still sick and I'm still trying to like recover an ish. So I'm laying on my bed like this and my laptop is sideways so I can watch it. Mother effing bug just decides to, to come out of nowhere. Like my window's closed. My window is closed. There's this like this and then behind it the glass is closed too and there's like my door is closed, I don't understand. I'm sitting here like chilling and I don't know where this bug decides to fly into my effing face. The freaking animal life in Australia is disrespectful. It scared the crap out of me. Hashtag rude, okay? <laughs> What? I am still sick. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna lay down over there. I'm gonna lay down because I'm tired of sitting up. I am still sick. I um. Leg. You've never seen my leg. Look at my leg. Look at that. Look at the leg. Look at all the angles of the leg. Look at, look at that leg. Look at that leg. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> I am still sick. I have had a cold for the past week. It sucks. Um, what else? Oh, I am still sick in the tummy. My tummy, my poor tummy. My poor tummy has gone through so much. <laughs> I am still feeling blah and, and also <coughs> all at the same time. I really hope that everybody else who was on the trip who was sick is feeling better because I, it's, it's still a process, you know, like still have like stomach cramps every once in a while and not as bad as yesterday. Yesterday and the day before I actually thought I was dying. It's gotten better today and also, you know, just making sure that I'm eating food that is not going to upset it more. Um, yeah, it's just a process, you know, you gotta let your body sort of work itself, work, work stuff out. So I got a tan. I don't know if you can tell, but I did. Herp, derp, derp. Oh my god. I, what I was gonna do was to sort of give it like a recap, like, because I didn't really get the chance to talk about in the last video all of the leg, all of the, <laughs> I don't know what, I don't, I don't know, I don't know why. I'm just really enthralled by the fact that I have legs. Having a, having a moment, I'm just gonna let myself calm down. <laughs> I just want to take this, like, a little bit of time to, um, <coughs> <clears throat> to go a little over, um, go a little over, go over a little bit of, like, some of the stuff, some of my impressions of Fiji. Some of my things I realized, or no, not realized, but noticed about Fiji, free-roaming animals. You know, free-roaming animals are very characteristic of a developing nation. Fiji is not a developed country, and, you know, it's just, like, one of those things that you're not really used to seeing, um, in your daily life, like walking around campus, I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna be concerned about a goat running across my path, you know? In most, in most cases, sugar cane, sugar cane everywhere. Sugar cane, oh, I forgot. This was like the lay that they gave me when I got, it's like little shells. They're really nice. This is the lay they gave me when I entered the country. Um... Sugarcane everywhere. Sugarcane is the most widely grown crop in Fiji, and it used to be the country's main source of income until tourism. So it was later replaced by tourism. So, you know, I just I just helped him out a little with something. I just helped him with a little something, something. Flowers, too. Flowers 
everywhere. Fijians love to garden, like, and cultivate. I mean, even the poorest people who, with the, with like the smallest houses that were made out of maybe a couple of stacked cinder blocks and some sheet metal, like, they had gardens, you know? The, and these weren't just a few flowers, maybe a hedge, no. They were like mini orchards with flowering trees and bushes and rows of sugar cane and other random assorted fruits, you know. So all around the island, I kept smelling this smell and I had no idea what it was. I couldn't place it. I'd never smelled it before. And I mean, it was everywhere. It Like the people smelled like it. The air smelled like it. The damn hostel room smelled like it. The shower, everything. And it wasn't until the night of the first day when we went to this place called Mango Bay Resort uh, that I realized what it was. It was kava. And the whole, like, the whole Dagon Nation reeks of kava. I mean, and if you don't know what kava is, Google is your best friend. Nah, I'm just playing. Um, kava root is what Fijians, like... Uh, they grind it up and they mix it with water to make the drink kava, which is Fiji's national drink, um, to quote our guide. Nah, man, it looks like muddy water, tastes like muddy water. Yeah, boy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I used it in ceremonies, which we actually got to experience a few times. Yes, I did drink it. I love that in Fiji, you couldn't go anywhere without seeing something edible like growing from the ground or a tree or whatever, or, or some shink. Every, like everywhere bananas, everywhere papayas, everywhere sugarcane, everywhere mangoes, everywhere enter fruit or other crop of your, other tropical crop of your choice here. Now Fiji was cool. Fiji was cool. I just wish that I hadn't been ripped off. Bleh, ripped off? Rip. Rip. Ripped. Mm. Oh, that was bad. By a travel company. And also that I hadn't been ill in the last day that I was there. That would have been nice. But, Fiji, they're still cool. Hang loose. All that jazz. Modi. That's what you say when you say goodbye. Modi.